Man, I never know how to explain how I solved a math problem. I just do it. I can explain that. Tess are hard. If you solve the problem it should be easy. First, restate the question in a complete sentence. Second, write down all the steps you took to solve the problem in complete sentences. Last, write your answer for the problem down in a complete sentence. What if the problem is 2 plus 2? That is so easy. I would just say, I did it in my head. Are you crazy, man? Don't ever say you did it in your head. You will fail this test. Why? You have to explain it even if it seems simple. If the problem was 2 plus 2 equals 4, then you should start by restating the question like this. I solved the problem by adding. First I wrote 2 plus 2 and added the numbers together. 2 and 2 more is 4. If I needed to, I could make 2 tally marks and another 2 tally marks and count my total, which is 4. So, the answer to 2 plus 2 is 4. I included the question, my steps, and the answer. The Q. The S. And the A. That seems like a lot of writing. I hate writing. Tough, dude. Just do it. It will make you a better thinker. It shows how smart you are. I know you are smart, but the test people want to see how smart you are. Besides, it gets easier the more you practice. Still. I just do a lot of the work in my head. The test scorer can't read your mind. So, you have to make sure you explain all the steps, operations, and strategies you took to solve the problem. Even if it was so easy you did it in your head. Explain how you would solve it on paper. They want to check that you know what you are doing. Okay. Okay. I think I get it. First, I will restate the question in a complete sentence. Second, I will write down all the steps, operations, and strategies I took to solve the problem in complete sentences. Last, I will write my answer for the problem down in a complete sentence. Good. I'm glad you will first restate the question in a complete sentence. Then, write down all the steps, operations, and strategies you took to solve the problem in complete sentences. Last. Write your answer for the problem down in a complete sentence. Thanks for helping me. I might try to remember those letters for the question, the steps, and the answer. The Q, S, and A. Q, S, A. How did you get so smart? Get out of here. I had a great teacher. His name was Gilson or something like that. Anyway, I am happy you will try to do your best on this test. Don't forget to write with complete sentences. I am going to ace this test. Give me a Q. Give me a S. Give me an A. What does that spell? Nothing. Those letters just help you remember what to include in your writing. Restate the question. Explain the steps you took to solve the problem and end with your answer. Question, steps, and answer. I think you're ready.